This one's a little different than uh, the one we just did before. This one says how many milliliters of 5 molar sodium acetate must be added to one liter of a 0 0.200 molar acetic acid solution to make a buffer with a pH of 4.50. So uh, it's a buffer, henderson hassel bouch equation. And again, I'm going to try and work this in moles because I can know that I can get my moles here and that if it's the relationship between milliliters and molarity will lead me to use moles as well. And a side note, you can work this in molarities, but it's complicated because you don't know the volume of your sodium acetate, so you don't know what your total volume is. And it's just much easier to work this problem in moles instead of molarity. Um, we know our pH. For acetic acid, we can find our Ka and then our pKa. And this time, because we've got a weak acid and a conjugate weak base, right? So we did a previous problem in which you had weak acid and strong base. They had to react to make a buffer. This time, there's no reaction. What you can do is you can then figure out how many moles of weak acid you have, and then straight away, uh, your moles of conjugate weak base will be X. And similar to the last one, except that this time there's only one of the X's to solve for, you're going to solve for this X for the moles of conjugate weak base. And then um, by, so you know the pH, you know the pKa, you know the moles of weak acid, rearrange and solve for your X, which is your moles of conjugate weak base. And once you know your moles of conjugate weak base, you can, uh, so moles and molarity, you can solve that for your liters of sodium acetate and then turn that into milliliters. Give that a try.